Um, this is the, uh, the top floor. In my opinion, the views actually get better as you go down. Okay, so um, this, uh, this, it, this space is designed to be more of a contemplative area that you can come to, um, really reflect. If we want to come up here and work, we can. We can go out to any of the benches. Um, there's Wi-Fi throughout. Everybody asks if this space can be rented out. Right now, we don't rent it out. Um, but in the future, it's a possibility that, that you could definitely rent it out. Um, I don't know when, and I don't know what the cost is. So, um, there are 16,000 plugs of grass in this room, okay? The uh, soil depth is anywhere from 4 inches to 12 inches deep, depending on the grade of the roof. So you, you'll see a drip system throughout. Um, what will happen is this prairie grass will grow for a couple years once its roots get established. Um, they'll rip that out and it will no longer be needed. The grass will stand up to the heat of the summer, the cold of the winter. They had in our old office building, there were about 10 by 15 planters, three of them, and they had three different types of prairie grass to test out which one they wanted, what, which one did they like the look of, which one did the, the use of. Throughout the building, there's, there's art. There's no art on this building, on this level yet, but they're gonna put sculptures as their, as their long-term plan for that. The building is designed to be LEED certified, which is a efficiency rating. It's not been certified yet, but from what I've, what I've heard is that it will probably be like a silver LEED certified. Um, the gold and platinum are, I, I guess, really, really hard to get, I guess. The last thing that I have, and then you guys can take a walk around, is that mass is a 100 foot mass. It has absolutely no functionality, but it represents communication to stores. And then it'll light up at night, and it'll change, it'll change colors, and that mask does move as well. I, uh, I encourage you to, to go out, and if you want to walk outside, by all means, go for it. I'll be in here. Uh, these doors will lock behind you, so you'll have to have somebody let you in, so. Scream, or yeah. Of course, this is the first thing I want to walk out to. No kidding. <laughs> I've always wondered if you can walk out here before. My gosh, this oh. is so cool. Man, can you imagine? I love it. <laughs> Allie Law would be on the corner over there, looking straight down. He'd be going like this. Yeah. <laughs> looking back at it, there's the mass or mast, or whatever you call it. Yeah. And tiny. Dummy! <laughs> and of course, my favorite building in the world. 801 Grand, baby. Hello, Matt. Jeez, that thing is, that's tall. Got the lights to change. I'm in heaven. All right, so um, as you can see here, this is our hub, okay? Um, so kind of a break room. Um, we have, one thing about this building is they want collisions, okay? So um, on this floor, we have Pepsi products. On the floor below, we have Coke products. We have some type of coffee up here. We have a barista and we have espresso and nitro coffee downstairs. There's tea up here um, and the beer is up here as well. So it's really meant that if, if, you, if you want coke, you're gonna go down to that next level and so cool. run into somebody from marketing, accounting, whatever it may be. So and then any really day cool after idea. three o'clock, yeah. you're welcome to have a beer 
and um, there's shuffleboard up here. The, I had mentioned earlier that there's only one room that's on the exterior of the building, and that is the boardroom here. So that's the only, when they designed this building, it was really designed you know, with the associates in mind. And you're gonna see that the offices are in the middle of the building so that, and really all the associates can see out. It makes it really light, very airy. But we're fortunate to be able to call this our, our place that we come to work every day. Yeah, really. Um, no designated desk space. So I'll talk about that once we get over there. I mean, it's called the neighborhood, but, um, so we'll kind of go by the boardroom Good catch, Tiny. I can't believe that. I know. He's right, the views do get better as you go down. The, what? the views get better as you go down. Yeah. Outside of not being able to see 801 Grand in the cluster of buildings downtown. Yeah. Well, this is the side of town that my current building's on. And it's just past that. I love this blue couch. There really is. There's so much to take in. Yeah, dude. Wow. And like you can see that the, this level, you know, has a little bit. You know, it cuts off a little bit of sculpture part, and then the next level down, you'll see more. Okay. And then yeah. two is like my favorite view. Oh, I love um, that. There's something unique in every. There really is. Yeah. 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 One thing with Des Moines, one of their, their building codes for this, whether it be commercial or whatever this building sits, the lot it sits on is you have to go up to the uh, property line. Okay. Now, as you got out, you know, you got out of your car and you walked, you had to walk a pretty decent way out of the property to get in the glass doors downstairs. Well, this floor meets that code to get us to the property line. This extends over to the property line. And another interesting fact is that the city of Des Moines, everything to the east of here to the river is perpendicular to the river. All the roads are. At this point, the grid shifts and all the roads run with Ingersoll here. So the top level actually shifts to, to show that um, you know heritage with Des Moines and the way that the city is set up. And you can see that by looking at this glass here runs parallel with Ingersoll, but that that lot line, the, the roof there is parallel Super with Graham. Yeah, wow. So um, kind of a, the architect had that had designed that like that, which I thought was very interesting. That's really cool. Um, so a lot of you have probably heard that we don't have assigned seating. We have what are called neighborhoods, okay? So every day I'm assigned a general area to come to work. And this is my area over here, just so happens to be. You, you can see there's different types of workspaces. This is really enclosed, right? Um, and then there's a little, some that are more open, and then you have some that are, are, are wide open, right? So just depending on what kind of work you're doing, you know, where you sit for that day. These, these shades all move as one for each side of the building. So you can see a light sensor up there, that little round thing, right? So in the mornings, with the sun rising in the east, this gets very bright, so these actually come down, okay? The ones on that side, the shades will be all the way up. And then as the sun moves throughout the day and the light changes, those will come down and the ones on the other side will go up. Um, this morning for the earlier two groups, they've been up all day because of the overcast. So there's not much sun, so they want to get as much sun in here as they can. A lot of people ask about, do you hear a lot of conversations? Is there a lot of noise that carries in this building? And there isn't because they pump in the yeah. white noise. If I'll be quiet and you can hear it. It sounds like, like an air running. 
but it's, it's just the white noise that they pump in so that, you know, um, if the lawyers are talking about something, we're not going to hear it and they can't hear our conversation, right? It's kind of a nice feature. It's not real loud, so it makes it nice to work. I said all the offices are on the inside. This is the office here. Um, and I, um, so this staircase here is pretty cool. This is a floating staircase. Um, it's only attached at, the, at where it meets the floor down there. Floor up here. Um, Holy so cow. What we'll do is uh, we'll go down there and, uh, and then we get the stroller. Can you take the elevator for that? And then if you want to walk down there or whatever, I can take the stroller meet you down on that next level. So um, you'll actually kind of feel just move just a little bit. But um, it's kind of cool. The engineering and design that went into that is amazing. So, um, and then uh, the, the vertical, those are our lockers. Okay, everybody, everybody is assigned a locker. So, there's stuff comes off the desk every day. There comes a little locker. Um, and then you, you lock it, bring it up. Yes, they all look down. Your computer can say you lock. Like, I didn't mind my locker last night, but I was like, so. You feel a little bit. There's a little bit of give. Just, just a skosh. A little bit of bounce. about the design of the building is That's you can see this, this, so, this uh, support here, right? So this is supporting that, that floor above us. Um, and it's, it's more in that area here because this is the closest column. But the other closest columns are here. Um, this corner is actually held up from above by these, po by these posts here. So otherwise this would probably just, it would flex just a little bit, right? So that it's actually, this corner is held up from the floor above. So the Krause family owns this block here, okay? So the gas lamp and the apartments over there. And then they own, on that block, they own the three buildings along the front here. But people have asked on the earlier tours, you know, they, they hear that there's plans for a, a come and go down here. I, I honestly don't know. Um, we do have a, a store a couple blocks away on Kiowa, which is a very nice store. So I don't know what the future is for for these, but it, whatever it is, it'll stay with, with the Des Moines theme or whatever. So. Any questions on this floor at all? So you, as we walk down here, um, you'll see the different types of workstations, you know, um, open, your head's down, you, you just, that's kind of the theme throughout so that if you're in any different area, you have the option to go to whatever workspace that you need to do to get your work done at that time. Um, you'll see other more meeting rooms and then there's a uh, something pretty cool about the uh, break room over here that I think is pretty cool with our general manager. You know, I, I don't know. Somebody asked me that earlier too and I, I know. I know. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. No, like there's there's microwaves.
Alright, so we'll, uh, we'll head to the elevators here. So there's no beer on this floor, though. No, there's no beer on this floor. No. Yeah. Smoothie. Yeah. 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 Yeah.